Hi folks, welcome to our video on publishing. I'm going to talk about publishing your site using uh, Microsoft SharePoint Designer 2007, Microsoft's Expression Web 1 and 2, and this will actually even cover Front Page 2003 and all the way back. But hopefully if you're using Front Page 2003, you've, you've updated somewhat to SharePoint Designer 2007 minimally, uh, and Expression Web 4, the latest version of Microsoft's web editor is out and it's free. So really there's no use to, no reason not to get the most up-to-date software. However, if you're still working with these programs, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's jump into our editor. To publish the site, we're going to click on the file menu, select publish site. Okay, at this point in time you probably haven't set up a, 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 a site to publish to. We're going to cover publishing with FTP. Uh, that's the that's the method that I recommend, um, simply because front page extensions are are quite a bit out to date now. Anyways, long story short, uh, to set up your FTP publishing, select the FTP option under the ro remote website location. Just type in the name of your domain. So your web host will have sent you an email after you signed up with the web hosting, and in that email, the, they provide the domain name that you've uh, signed up with or that you're. Uh, attached to your account, also your username, your password, and whatever directory you're publishing to. And this is where you enter the directory information. And it could be any name of the folder, typically HTTP docs or triple W, www, or public HTML. Those are very standard names for the uh, FTP directory because you're moving your files from your computer to your web host computer. That's really all you're doing. So you're moving your files from within the website folder on your local computer up to a folder within your web host computer. And then that's what the folder name would be. Click OK once you've set that and then you'll be asked for a username and a password. Type that in and once you've typed that in you'll have the local website displayed over here, the remote website over here. Typically you'll just have, have maybe an index.html page and a couple of folders. That's, uh, those will be the default files and folders installed on your host side. I have a lot of stuff in here simply because this is a testing folder that I use for a lot of different sites and files. So um, at this point in time what I typically do is just put my cursor in here somewhere in the local file window. Uh, press Control A on the keyboard. It doesn't really look like it does anything when I put my cursor over there, but just anywhere in there, click inside, Control A, and then I just click on the Publish Selected Files. That's sort of one method. Another method, once you've established an FTP uh, connection, you can actually just right click on any file and just select the or do the Publish Selected Files. Now, a lot of folks say, especially when updating library pages, oh, I don't want to have to upload my entire site. I've got a bazillion pages and files and whatnot. So let's say, for example, you update a page within the library folder, and it's a shared page. So when you update a library page, it's only updating the pages locally. You still have to publish those pages up to your server. You may not want to publish your entire site. Maybe you've got a lot of video and pictures in there, and you don't want to have to go through all that rigmarole. There is a shortcut method to updating just the files that have been updated. So let's say, for example, we updated our our menu top page today, and we want to publish those changes up to the server. Well, what we can do is once we have an FTP established, we can actually just go to the Reports tab down here. We can click All Files, and you'll see that over here under the Modify Date, see how it's listed? 617, 617, 617, and then it changes to 614. Well, these would be the files that I updated today. What I could do is select everything under the modified date of 617 all the way down because you can organize it by modified date. Then I can just send you a simple right click, press the publish selected files, and it's going to publish it up. I'm going to stop that. I don't want it to go up there. And it'll publish it up to my HTTP docs folder into the right location. So if something is within the library folder, it's going to go back into the library folder. If it's within the site themed images folder, that's where it's going to go on the server. If that folder doesn't exist on the server, it's going to create that folder. So that's one of the nice things about um, this particular method, because let's, let's just spruce this out a little bit. I actually use this on a regular basis when I update some of the local client sites. <clears throat> it actually tells us, you know, the title of the image in what folder it's going, uh, file size, but it only uploads the pages, the scripts, or the uh, images that I've added. So I don't have to dig through my site trying to figure out 
what to upload if I don't want to upload the entire site. I can just upload the pages and the files that have been modified um, on that particular day and it'll actually go up to the server and update the server. A real fast little uh, trick to getting things posted, especially when you're updating library pages because we don't have any control uh, over the how the program works in terms of your your web editor it, it will not update things on a live server that's just the way it works it updates things on your local server and you have to publish them up i mean if you had front page extensions installed you could log into the live server and make changes i, I will make that note um, but i've seen more support and troubleshooting and errors caused by doing that than by updating locally and publishing it up. So I really suggest just the FTP method and, and publish up that way. Um, one of the reasons being is if your server has a corruption or something happens to the front page extensions on the server, you would lose all functionality for any of those library components. If it's done published via FTP, not a problem. But if you're relying upon the front page extensions and something happens to them, your site could be down and, and we, it could be down for days or weeks. Uh, people will be coming, they wouldn't be able to navigate around because there's none of the library pages are functioning and you'd just be pulling your hair out at that point in time. So 